Hello YouTube, El Mas to show off here and I got for you guys today a really good and really close RU Wi-Fi battle against Bailey aka Sophie Girl. Her Twitter link will be down in the description so if you would like to battle her make sure to go check her out. And if you guys do enjoy the video also make sure to leave a like, one like can definitely go a long way and to make sure to answer the question of the day. So. As I said, this is going to be an RU battle, and this team was based around uh, Contrary Superior. If you guys missed the PS Live I did with Contrary Superior, I'll link to that will be down in the description. So going into this battle, uh, the biggest threats I saw on Bailey's team were going to be Sceptile and Delphox, because if I lose my Reggie Steel, then Sceptile can plow through my team, and if Delphox is a Calm Mind variant late game, it could also possibly sweep me. So I'm going to be leading off with my Pangoro, as she's going to be leading off with her Sceptile. And now I know from prior experience, that Mega Sceptile's Focus Blast Oko's Pangoro. So predicting her to just go for the safe Focus Blast, I'm gonna decide to switch directly into my Cresselia because Cresselia can really take on Sceptile one on one. Unless she has a straight Toxic, then there's literally nothing this Sceptile can do to my Cresselia to possibly beat it one on one, especially because I am actually a sub calm mind variant of Cresselia, which I knew would possibly be my win condition so long as I got rid of her Delphox or weakened it a little bit, but she also does have the Skun Tank which could possibly carry the taunt, so that's another thing I do have to deal with. So this turn predicting her to switch into Skun Tank, I'm actually going to double switch into my Gligar and I'm in a perfect situation where I can go for the Earthquake or go for the U-turn as she makes a very nice play and goes for the taunt knowing that I wouldn't go straight for the Earthquake, most likely actually try to go for my rocks but ultimately I went for U-turn predicting her to switch out which still works out for me because I can U-turn back out into my Pangoro. I am adamant max attack, I have Iron Fist, I have the Hammer Arm, I'm very positive that I can Oko this Skun Tank, but she's actually going to switch into her Jellicent. Now, in normal situations, this would be actually very, very bad for me. However, though, I'm actually a Black Glasses variant of Pangoro, and I'm able to catch her Jellicent off guard and in return Oko it with the knockoff, which is really great for me because that's one less bulky Pokemon that my Cresselia has to deal with late game. As she brings in the Cabalion, I'm not too positive I can live a close combat, so I have a perfect switch in in the form of my Gligar unless she has hidden power ice I'm really not worried about what this Cabalion can do to my Gligar so this turn predicting her to switch out fearing that I could go for the earthquake I'm actually gonna go for the U-turn now if you're wondering why I'm not going for my stealth rocks it's because I actually have rocks on my Registeel and this Gligar is earthquake roost defog and U-turn because U-turn is just such a great move on Gligar to be able to gain momentum so she pulls out the Magna Rise which I was not at all expecting, but it's fine because I'm able to U-turn into my Cresselia, which Cabalion fits in the same boat as Sceptile. Unless she has Toxic, Cabalion can do absolutely nothing to my Cresselia, and I can sit up on it and possibly just sweep through her team right now. But fearing that I could possibly go for a Psychic maybe, or a Thunder Wave, she decides to switch directly into her Hyperior, and I make just a really bad play. Honestly, looking back at it, there was really no reason that I should have gone for the Calm Mind this early in the battle. If anything, I should have pulled the Double Switch knowing that she wouldn't leave in Cabali on all my Cresselia. That was just a really poor play on my part. So this turn, I'm going to switch into my Pangora, hoping that she doesn't predict that and go for an Earthquake, as luckily she's just going to go for the Rock Slide. And these next two turns, my dad insisted on me doing something for him. So when I brought in Pangoro on Rhyperior, I was like, okay, Hammer Arm is going to Oko this. Even if it doesn't, it can't do anything to me. So I click Hammer Arm. I put my 3DS down, go help my dad with whatever. And it turns out that she's weakness policy with rock polish. So I come back and I'm thinking, okay, so after the minus one speed, she outspeeds me. I can live. Okay, I get Oko'd. It's fine. My dad calls me again. I bring in Superior. And I click uh, Leaf Storm thinking, okay, I cannot speed Rhyperior and knock it out. So I go help my dad. I don't even remember what it was. I think it was something with our air conditioning or heater or whatever. Then I come back and my Superior is dead. And I'm thinking, what just happened? I, w I was prime set and ready to sweep with Superior. And then it dawned on me that maybe she could have rock polished. So I just bring in my on Lee and I go straight for the Mock Punch. And that's actually really bad for me because I was really hoping to have Superior to be able to break down her team 
to set up for my Cresselia to sweep later in the match. And now with Superior gone, there's more pressure on my Cresselia to try to win me this battle. So she brings in the Delphox. I decide to switch directly into my Gligar, basically as Death Fodder, knowing that any two hits coming from Delphox would be able to knock me out. As she goes for the Fire Blast, I'm going to bring in my Registeel. And I know this may seem very odd, but I know from prior experience that a max special defense, max HP Registeel can live a Spex fire blast coming from Delphox as I do live I'm going to be able to paralyze this Delphox which is going to be absolutely absolutely crucial to me later in this battle because Delphox right now became the biggest problem to my team so I'm going to be able to get off a bit of chip damage with the seismic toss as she doesn't get paralyzed or Mrs. Fire Blast, I might add, and she's going to be able to just roast my Registeel. There was honestly no reason for me to get up rocks this part in the game because all I really needed to do was get off a little bit of damage on Delphox so my Cresselia could beat it easier one-on-one -on -one because I have non-stab Moonblast, which is also resisted by Delphox as my offensive move. So she's going to bring in the Skun Tank, and I'm going to go ahead and go for the Calm Mind. In hindsight, maybe I should have gone for the Substitute. I think that probably would have been the better play. On the off chance that she did want to stay in, trying to uh, get off as much damage as she could with Delphox before I possibly took her out. But she ends up switching directly into the Skun Tank. I'm going to go ahead and sub, because I'm fearing that if she goes for the Poison Jab, she could poison me. So subbing, she turns out to go for the Taunt, which in hindsight, I don't, I don't want to keep saying hindsight, but looking back at it, I probably could have definitely switched into Hitmonlee. Then again, as I said, I was fearing her possibly going for the Poison Jab, so I guess subbing in the end wasn't too bad of a play, as she's going to break my substitute with the Sucker Punch. So she has Sucker Punch, Taunt, most likely has Defog, and probably has Crunch or Pursuit as her final move. Uh, then again, there still is a chance she could also have the Poison Jab, which I am really, really still fearing, because I don't think my Hitmonlee can safely switch into this Skun Tank taking the Poison Jab. So... I'm honestly in a bad situation right here, so I'm basically forced to bring in my Hitmonlee, hoping that she doesn't go for the Poison Jab, as thankfully she doesn't. She ends up going for the Sucker Punch, which is really good for me, because now I'm in a prime situation where I can just go for that high jump kick. And she makes a very questionable play, and she stays in here. I think she said that she thought she could live a high jump kick. So I run a damage calc, and even if she was max defense, max HP, at the amount of HP that she was at, a high jump kick still had a really good chance to knock her out. So as long as I didn't get minimum damage, that crit with high jump kick did not matter. But then there was a chance I could have got him in damage on just... Yeah, I don't know. You guys can be the judge on whether or not the crit mattered. But as I said, as long as I didn't get minimum damage, high jump kick still would have knocked her out. So I'm going to get off a bit of chip damage with Mach Punch on this Sceptile as I can bring in my Cresselia. At this point, Cresselia is my last Pokemon. This is my win condition, as I mentioned earlier. She still has Sceptile, she has Delphox, and she has Cabalion. So I'm in a very good spot to where I could actually sweep with Cresselia. So I'm going to go straight for the Calm Mind, thinking that she would leave in her Sceptile, just trying to chip away and wear down my Cresselia as much as possible. But she makes a bit of an odd switch into the Delphox. I'm not really too sure why, but this is actually very good for me because I'm basically going to be able to set up all over this Delphox. Okay, the reason why this is so sped up is because literally like the next 10 turns are just me subbing, calm minding, and I think going for a Moonlight or two, as she's getting pretty lucky, not getting paralyzed, and still hitting her Fire Blasts. And I believe, ultimately, I end up getting to like plus five special attack and plus five special defense. If she had switched down to Sceptile in any of these turns, it wouldn't really have helped her any, just because after about three calm minds, I think Sceptile cannot um, do enough damage to break a sub, uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. But yeah, I'm just gonna stay in. There's, I'm sorry, there's really nothing else for me to stay besides the fact that I'm using this Delphox as complete and utter setup fodder. And uh, she actually ends up running out of Fire Blast as she's gonna be forced to struggle. So as I get up a final substitute, I believe I'm just gonna knock her out this turn or she gets knocked out by the recall from struggle. But she's gonna bring the Sceptile. I'm literally not fearing anything that this thing wants to do to me. As she turns out to have the Leaf Storm, I believe that does end up breaking my sub. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, sorry about that. But Moonblast will be able to finish off this Sceptile because there's literally no way that this thing can live a plus five uh, Moonblast. Even though it's not stabbed, the plus five Cresselia is pretty strong. So her last Pokemon right now is the Cabalion, which. I think can actually take one Moonblast, but unless she flinches me like six times in a row, 
then there is really no way this Cabalion can bring her back the battle. So, after the prior damage from Leaf Storm and I believe a struggle that she went for with Delphox, I'm going to be able to get the Moonblast off. Although I'm not behind a substitute, it's not that big of an issue as I said, as long as she doesn't flinch me six times in a row, there's literally nothing for me to be worried about. So she's going to go for the uh, Iron Head, does literally nothing to me, and I'm going to be able to finish her off with the Moonblast. So yeah, as you can see, uh, Sub Calm Mind Cresselia is really fat and very scary late game. Then again, uh, this battle really would have gone a lot smoother for me if I had not been distracted by my father and I had kept superior because superior could have also put offensive pressure on her team especially if I was able to set up a substitute but in the end it was still just a really really good battle in my opinion hopefully you guys did enjoy and if you did make sure to hit the like button down below and to check out Bailey also make sure to answer the question of the day which was asked at the beginning of the video and with that being said guys I will see you all tomorrow so later everybody